Hi, Hiram here. I wanted to do a boil test on this pup stove that Nate over at World Stove sent me. This is one he sent me for Christmas along with the Beaner stove. As it sets here, the stove and the cup, both of these weigh 395.2 grams or 13.93 ounces. Just the stove weighs 328 grams or 11.6 ounces. Not exactly a, a lightweight equipment for you gram weenie type people, but this is something that you could stick in your car, in your polk, uh, canoeing, anything like that. The other thing you have to make with it, this is pretty much complete except you need to make a stand to go on it. Hardware stand like that. Nate said that I need two inches from the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot, so that's what I have here. This is just a roughly made one. I have a hundred grams of wood pellets. That's any that's about uh, three quarter of a cup to a cup. Put that in here. Okay, that goes into the bottom. Oh, I should have said this part comes out from the outside casing, but I think I showed you that before. So there's 100 grams of wood pellets. I have some ground up Safe Light Fire Starter Squares. I think I showed you these before. They're basically just wood chips soaked in wax. I have a quarter of one of these cubes ground up to use for a fire starter. Yep, camera's going. So I'll just put that in here. Now it's getting, like always, it's starting to get windy out here, so I'll probably have to put my wind, wind screened up. Let's just drop a match in there. That fire starter square, that's what you see burning there now. Let me start the timer for how long this thing will burn on 100 grams. Okay, what I want to do is stop the camera for about five minutes, let the wood pellets start burning, and then I'll come back for the test. Be right back. Okay, actually it's been going on for a little more than four minutes, but it looks like I have a pretty good flame, and it looks like it's the pellets that are pro uh, providing the gas. So what I'm going to do now is I have a pot here, my regular standard pot, with two cups of water in it. Water setting at 52 degrees, and let's see where that goes. Okay, we're eight minutes into the test. The water temperature is 173. Let's see what the, the outside, I don't know if you can see the red dot, it's the gauge here is telling me that that's about 107 degrees. Now it's a little warmer down below, 160, about 170 down here. And about 115 there. So it's warm on the outside of this stove. Couldn't pick it up by bare hands. But let's see where that goes from here. There we are at 210. Come on. 211. Twelve at twelve seventeen. Twelve minutes and seventeen seconds. Not bad, not shabby. Let me just get this off. Yeah. There is soot on the bottom. I think that's probably more from the wood pellets. 
Remember I did one of the tests the other day with that uh, poor man's Kelly pot where I used the wood pellets and then I used just regular wood and I got much less soot with the regular wood. Pellets just seem to really give off stuff but if you look there's nothing much in the way of smoke it's just whatever's in that flame solidifies on the cold water. Pretty nice. Let me see if I can show you down in the stove. It's kind of big. I don't know if you'll be able to see the jets, but down below you see the wood pellets just carbonizing or whatever you call it. This is a wood gas stove where it's heating up the wood pellets so they give off gas and then burns the gas. There we go. So, not bad. A little over 12 minutes, but then the water was much colder. What was it, 50 something? 50, 50 something? So there's my first test of Nate's pup stove with the pot stand that I put on it that made it two inches from the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot using just a regular half inch hardware cloth. So I thank Nate for sending this to me. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Know you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.